250 gemstones culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day we are more than journalism we are a revolution come on come on let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News Channel. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I'm your host, Michael T. Porter. I'm bringing the news to your um like no other. But before I begin, hit the like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. And y'all know how I feel about my chizzing. Cash App, dollar sign Michael US. I am so, so grateful. Everything goes to promoting the channel and growing this channel. And I want y'all to come with me. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Mr. Mullicon, a married man, found out that a side dude was clapping his wife's cheeks. You know the biggest hoes out here in society are married women? Did y'all know that? The biggest sluts and ho whores are married women. Married women are some of the horniest creatures you'll ever meet. She got her husband digging her out. She got her side dude digging. She can't keep her legs closed. These are the type of women, they're dangerous. And her husband found out the hard way. Husband is being sentenced for involving his wife in a shootout. The husband and the side dude, bang, 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 bang. But here's the thing, the side dude was the one that actually shot the wife having a shootout. M Mr. and Mrs. Mullicone, they went up to the side dude's house, had a shootout, wife got hit in a crossfire, and uh, yeah, he's doing life. I got a video I wanna play for y'all, and I'll be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's. Go. Here's according to lawandcrime.com. If you guys want to check it out, article written by Jason Candle. A 48 year old Michigan man was found guilty of killing his wife during a shootout at the home of her lover. Ooh, somebody was clapping his old lady cheeks. Had his old lady spread eagle. Matthew Lewis Malacombe was convicted of voluntary manslaughter, assault with intent to murder, and three counts of felony firearm. In the death of his wife, Kimberly Ann Malacone. She was 49. He's 48. His wife is 49. And the wounding of her former lover, Daniel Dion. Matthew Malacone is said to be sentenced on July 10th. His conviction on assault with intent to murder carries a maximum penalty of life. He also faces 15 years for voluntary manslaughter and six years for felony firearm, prosecutors said. The jury's convictions hold the perpetrator accountable for his actions and brings closure to the loved ones left behind. The Oakland Press reported the details in court about the year-long affair between Kimberly Mullicone and Gion that her husband thought the two had recently restarted. Mullicone's defense attorney tried to argue that Gion should be charged with murder since he fired the fatal shot while prosecutors argued Malakon brought his wife to a dangerous situation the newspaper reported so there was a shootout the husband uh start blasting and then the nigga that's clapping his uh his wife's cheeks he start blasting but the the guy that she's having an affair with, Jiong, he actually killed the wife. So I'm not, I'm kind of confused. Why is the husband doing time if the side dude killed his wife? This is kind of confusing. A law and crime reported the killing happened on July 12, 2022, when Matthew Malacone and his wife drove to the home of Jinon at about 9.30. So let's see. So that's, so, oh, okay, so he drove there. Okay, that's what his mistake. Why the hell are you riding around with your old lady to your, uh, to the side nigga's house? When the couple arrived at the home in the 62,000 block of North Avenue in Ray Township, an hour north of Detroit, Gion was outside cooking on his barbecue pit. A verbal argument quickly escalated into a gunfight. Both men fired handguns at each other. Janone was hit in the leg. He retreated into his home and retrieved a second weapon. Or they blasted him. As Matthew 
Morricone and his wife retreated to their vehicle and began to back out of the driveway, more gunfire was exchanged between the two men and Kimberly Morricone was struck near the neck and died. Man. So, once again, there's a lot of typos on law and crimes because in the beginning it says Molicone and now that I'm reading it says Morricone. But anyway, shootout. She's hitting the crossfire. My brother shot. My sister-in-law is in the house with my kids. Bunker down. My father and mother are here. He just got out of the vehicle and started shooting. She can be heard saying he just started shooting. He's still here. Please send somebody here. Matthew Malacone also placed a 911 call during the shootout in the audio recording. Malacone can be heard telling the dispatcher that a man came out of his house and shot my wife. Send an ambulance now. My wife's been shot. She's unresponsive. He can be heard saying. If you guys want to check out the rest of this article, once again, lawandcrime.com. I'll meet you on the other side to give you my opinion. Let's go. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this 250 gemstone news commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Uh, Mr. Malacone, he, he messed up. He messed up. He had no, but that was a simp move, right? So now you lost your life. You about to go do time. And then your, your wife lost her life. Because during, during the shootout, her side dude shot her. He was the one that ultimately gave, uh, fatally shot her. Mr. Malacan shot uh, Mr. Gian in the lead. They they're Italian. G I A O N N O L. Y'all know, y'all, y'all get it. Y'all get it. Gian. Mr. Gian was shot in the leg. That nigga ran back and got more guns. Mr. Gion, this ain't his first time sleeping with a married woman. And a lot of a lot of men, a lot of men just don't realize y'all girlfriends are hoes, bro. Out here in Dallas, the warehouses where all the hoes are at. I don't know what it is about the warehouses. I, I'm not from here. I'm from that mighty West Coast, second home, New Orleans, and I stumbled across Dallas. And let me tell y'all something. Out here, adultery, even though this is the Bible Belt. Adultery is at its all-time high. Married women are the horniest creatures out here. Oh, they'll give it up. They'll give it up. And it's not just Texas. I, I, I went out with my, my people back when I went to go visit Sacramento. And she's married. You know, my homegirl, she was married. Or Well, we're not that close, but friend of a friend. We like, went to school together. We had a lot of classes together. So I, I know her name and everything. Like we, we are uh, close associates. Like went to high school together and uh, we had, a, had a few drinks and she started revealing how much she wanted to get down. She married. Married life is boring. I think that's our women are designed to have fun and men were designed to have fun, but it's not what you do. It's how you do. Mr. Gion, this ain't his first rodeo. That's why he had all them guns to keep them husbands off his ass because he's going around slanging that pipe into married women. And he knew the consequence. He knew one day would come when one of these husbands was going to get on his ASS. And they did. He was prepared. He had two guns. He said he ran out of the bus with his first gun. He said, hold up, hold up. I got some more in the, I got some more in the house. I got some more in the house. Me, 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 me. Mr. Mullicon, this in order to be great, we got to make great decisions. And this was not a great decision to go to your, to the side dude's house, to go to the man's house who's clapping your wife's, who's clapping your wife's uh, cheeks. It's because for that reason, it's dangerous. And that's why he got uh, sentenced because the prosecutors were saying, you put your wife in this danger. Fellas, if you catch your wife cheating, go ahead, divorce her, talk it over. See what y'all can do to repair it. And if, I mean, wholeheartedly, see what you can do to repair it. And if you simply just can't repair it, she's, you know, because I believe that no married couple, even if it's infidelity, shouldn't break up. At first, you know, you should work through it. And then just leave her. Never, never bring the side dude 
into you guys a healing process. It's a healing process. The husband needed to be healed and he lost his mind. I mean, it's devastating. The woman that you love really don't love you. I mean, you giving your body to somebody else. You get moist for somebody else because it's dangerous for the side dude to get involved with a married woman and it's dangerous for the husband to check the side dude. Wife lost her life because her husband and her side dude uh, had a shootout and she was caught in a crossfire. Y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about this? Do y'all think that the court was fair to the husband? Do y'all think the husband should have took a different method? Flood my comments. 250, capital G. I'm gone.